as that happens, they spot out Lils in the mid lane. This is Liquid's chance in the bottom to take advantage of numbers. A three on two. They look to go for Solo. They slow him down. Solo has no kinetic field. Oh, but again, that's like the third time this game Solo will be able to make it away with just a little bit of life. Now Lil returns from the mid lane once again, and he gets the body bump. He's going for Bulba, and they get it done. Bulba goes down. He's going to be the first blood, and they're not done yet. They're looking to go for Matama, man, and Ramsey's got the move speed. Oh, time walk. Makes it back and away, but Lil's not done. He charges in. Can he get the bash? He needs it. He's not going to get it. I think, Lil, you've gone a bit too far, and you will pay the piper. Hanging about in that bottom lane, got the deny, and comes right to the mid lane and towards Miracle. And with that glimpse at the ready, it's a bit too awkward, and Miracle can't make it out. Converge on forward, but it looks like they've been able to spot out Kuro, so they commit him with the dust. Ramsey tries to make it back and away, but he gets off a nice silence. One last poke does come in, but Lil shows up to play. They will get the finish onto Ramsey's. Charge comes in. Can they get an arrow? Yes, they can. If they have the burst, they should be able to bring the Tinker down, and it looks like they will. Oh, boy. It's, oh, bottom lane. A glimpse back from Atama Man. He's going to be forced to chrono defensively, but that is not going to help you at all. He's under the tower. He takes all the shots. Mind control. Forced to TP out and away, and they get him, too, with an arrow to the face. Oh my, Verd is pro, off to a super hot start now. Did recently reach that level six nether strike. I guess that's all the lockdown you really need. And that means they can use this roar. Oh, the second they use the roar, they see the TP's coming in and kind of reevaluate what kind of commitments they want to make. And they're going to leave Lil behind. Pops his dust behind the tower, but Liquid quickly converge. Solo sees a weak Kuro and is like, I want to get that kill. Runs right in and will be able to do so. He even commits the static store for that bounty hunter kill. And now they try right to run right back and out. But Tumbleman actually has Chrono, but not enough mana for it. But Ramsey showed up now. Arrow! Flies on forward, will not be able to find the connection. They get the finish on the solo, and Matumaman runs up to the high ground, but that's when Ramsey moves in with the rupture. Matumaman inching inch by inch, trying to make it out, makes the jump to the high ground, will be able to make it away. Ramsey's on the prowl, looking to go for mind control, while no one goes into the side shop. Bird is pro, split up all over the place. As we see Kuro and Solo crossing paths down here, Solo needs to get away. He drops the static storm. He's trying to zone back the rest of Liquid here on the low ground. Gets a nice little glimpse back on Ramsey. He's just trying to make it up, and it goes right into a Pasha Roar. Can they burst him down with the Necro Book? It looks like they may. They do it. Nice connection there. On the other side, Miracle will be able to get the finish, taking down that Solo support. Kuro hiding inside the Roche pit. They know he's in there. They charge it on forward, and they crush him down. Roche will not be able to KS this one. Ramsey picks it up, and Verus are like, hey, you know what? We're here. Let's go ahead and do it. They move right into the pit, and are looking to battle it with the big boy after taking down three from Liquid. It only cost them solo. And they get the connection on the Miracle with the arrow. Oh, no! Things go from bad to worse from Liquid. There goes the Void Chronosphere, but he eats an arrow from no one on the other side, and he's going to die just as fast as he commits. But Tumman with the third straight takedown. Absolute chaos breaking out here as Bulba tries to disrupt the flow, dropping down a nice Mystic Flare. We'll be able to get the finish onto Solo. This comes after a takedown of the Pasha. Uh-oh. Oh, jump and roar. It's on mind control. There's the arrow, but some man tries to jump in. He jumps right to a static storm. Oh, no. Matoma man going to get dropped right away. Bulba tries to go for the TP. Will be able to make it. Well, they bumped into Kuro. They actually see it, but they don't have the vision. But the, oh, the Necro book comes by. And uh, could be looking for possibly a bit more. It's a jump in, but again, Solo. Quick reaction with a Static Storm as they try to make it work. But, oh man, Matoma Man steps out of it, gets the Chrono, but they get sent right back packing with the Glimpse. Again, things going bad for Liquid. They'll get the jump under my control. They'll be able to finish him off. And you know what? I would not be surprised. Liquid could call this one any time now. Okay, Liquid, yeah, get back inside. And that is not safe either. Glimpse pull back on Matama Man into the Static Storm. There's the rupture. He tries to run out, but he gets taken down again. 1 and 11. I don't think I've seen Matama Man have such a bad performance, unfortunately. This Chrono will connect with the Mystic Flare, and they will be able to get the takedown onto Pasha. Will Virtus Pro pull out, or will they continue to fight? It looks like they'll stay in fight. Moving back in. No one commits out the Star Storm. 
Jurgen tosses we get the fly out here from Liquid. A nice recommitment. They might be able to get the hard hitting Ramsey's. No, but Tumblr will get dropped. He's going to be out of for a minute without a buyback here. No one, though, gets the double, scoring it with the Star Storm. They will end up losing Lil on the back end of it. And with the drop also coming out on that Aegis, it's only going to be Ramsey's and no one alive here. Oh, inside, it looks like they've spotted some Liquid members on the outskirts here. No one looks to make his impression moving on forward. This is all five of Liquid trying to retreat. Arrow is not going to get the catch, but Lil will be able to make his move in for Miracle. But Tumbleman stops and slows down the Chrono. Volo will come in with the Mystic Flare, but it comes a bit too late to get the finish. Up for no one. Mind Control going to get blasted and taken apart in the back of Pasha. Set up Primal Roar, then they move forward for Kuro. They'll quickly take out three from Liquid. And with a jump across, it, they might get Bulba too. They will not. So, first Pro Se, let's close this one out. With three going down, including Miracle, going to be out for nearly a minute. He already made the commitment buying and finishing out that Agnum Scepter, so he has no buyback. And that will do it. Liquid gets slaughtered. In game number one, falling to a 25k net worth advantage. Bad rider. No smoke, but they are also five manning here. If they plant themselves on top of this high ground, they could be in a fantastic spot. These guys are going head to head. Let's get the party started. Have fun, everybody. Disruption gonna get popped and we break it all out right now. It looks like Solo it could be the first blood of the game. One more right click should do it and they will be able to get it done. Bulba picks up that one and now they look to go back and forth for it. Moving in, Mind Control steps up with the crush. They force back, raises there. Mind Control still gonna be good. Eating up, salves up, he's fine. Double kill for Bulba. Liquid off to a 3-0 start and they're not done yet. Curl with the mighty hits of the nuke the stacks flying forward matama man inches in but he suddenly turns back and pops out his wand he's got full health gets a couple of raises oh they have moved in for solo they will surround him from all fronts he gets the disruption off but eventually boba catches him and he will be taken down pops out the wand tries to go for deny not gonna get it q play almost but uh, another kill for boba Bulba 3-0, involved in all kills. All mid lane. Oh, they need a bit more. Not enough mana for a shockwave. Almost got Miracle down. Not going to get the snag, though. Miracle makes it away. And Lil goes back to the bottom lane for his own approach as they try to guard out the four-minute rune here. Seder trying his best to just hold a bit of its own. The enchant is there onto Miracle, and Lil is feeling it. Shockwave, not good enough. Oh, no, Lil thirsty for that one. Will pay the price. Miracle rolls back in. And uh, Shockwave, no, just behind. Not going to get that either. Oh. Lil very, very bloodthirsty, unfortunately. Will get punished. It doesn't stop there. Solos roll through, and now suddenly Liquid find more options here. They move in as three, and they're going to need some assistance. Coming in, it's going to be Lil, but it's too late. They'll get the next connection, but there's going to be Ramsey's. Moves on forward, gets the Lucid Beam, gets the Snag, taking out my Control, and they're going to get possibly a bit more. With the Lucid Beam, they shut down Kuro. He saps up a bit more strength. They need one more right click. They got it. Lil picks it up after just getting taken down. There could be a quick setup. Oh, that ward that was planted before. They spot out no one looking to go back to the jungle camp, but this time Miracle is going to be ready with the lasso. They get the pullback, but there's that stampede. Allows them to make it back and away from trouble. And it looks like Virtus Pro will be able to avoid this assault by Liquid, but are they going to counterfight this? Liquid still looking to be aggressive here. A tombstone going to be committed now. Lil could be in a bit of trouble. Wants to stand and fight. Pops out the heal while they continue to make a move for Solo. Eventually, they'll be able to shred apart and take down Kuro. Nice grab by them. They look to step back for Miracle, but it is going to be Bulba who gets the snipe and the finish on Solo. There's the commitment by Liquid. They move in with the tombstone, but that's going to be the stampede, allowing Virtus Pro to totally step back and reset. As Curl looks to hustle on in, Lil shows up and easily shoots him down. Moving forward, there's going to be Mind Control connecting with the Crush. The response is going to be an Eclipse, but it's not a good one. They're caught in the dark and in a side shop. Nice lasso play from Miracle. Locks no one in place, and they'll be able to get the finish. That's a Shadow Fiend taken down. They will be able to get the responses. The Javelins continue to chuck out from Lil. Gets the grab onto Miracle, and now Mind Control Looking for the setup on the solo. There'll be the disruption, and they might keep going. Amp damage and the concussive shot slow. They're thinking about diving here, but as he does so, there's going to be the rotation from Centaur, but he's already very low on life and can't commit with... Uh-oh. Ramsey's in trouble. Where's the help? Rose the rotations. They have a stampede, and they will allow him to make it back in a way. The flame break will bump him forward. 
How far do Liquid want to go? Mind Control says I can get in there and get the crush. Get slowed down from Lil. They still want him. Look how thirsty they are. They want Ramses. They'll finally be able to get him a double tower dive for it. And Virtus Pro not looking to TP in and help out. I don't know if they just figured the Stampede was going to be good enough, but Liquid did not want to stop. And now Mind Control spots out no one here. Possibly even here in the bottom lane. Ramsey's in solo. There's the jump. There's the lasso pullback. Where's my Mystic Flare at? Not here yet, but they have the Eclipse. <laughs> and it quickly goes away. Nice move from Liquid. They get the assault. They get the jump on the Ramsey's. They take him down, and they quickly rush to see if they can grab anyone else. It is solo nearby, and they actually spot him, and they're rushing that way. Blink Crush not going to get the connection. And Liquid will have to settle with just the solo takedown. But here comes Virtus Pro. Waltzing on in there. No one spots him now, but they're a bit uneasy to see what kind of vision is available. And as they go for the re-engagement, they see Solo and Pasha. Quick scoop bump forward with the help of the Stampede, and they quickly annihilate Bulba. They won't be able to get the grab on the Solo. Can Virtus Pro get any more from it? They have to take down the Tombstone first, but they can't get it yet. A crush right under it will lead to the destruction of no one. Another profitable kill for Liquid on this one, and they're looking for more. Pasha getting slowed down. Flame break. Oh, just before it connects, Pasha blinks away. And now comes a possibly another turnaround. First Pro TP in, but Matama Man has showed up to play now, and he has got that Radiance. Pops out the Ensnare, the follow-up Crush, Lil. Not set for this world, but they jump and get off their Crush of their own, and there's going to be a double kill for Ramses. Beautiful setup from Pasha on that one. Liquid take a hard shot as they lose their Matama Man uh, Naga and could be losing more. Ramsey's moving in, trying to get the snipe with the Lu Lucid Beam. Mind Control moves in, gets off a crutch of his own, but eventually gets hit down. And all of the kills going the way of Ramsey's. Miracle not done yet, though. Still takes to the skies. Spots Lil as he jumps back, though. Oh, a swing and a miss from Pasha's crush. But here comes Ramses and company dishing out the Eclipse. Bit of miscommunication because of disruption. He's not going to be able to get hit by any of it. As Liquid do pull back it away, there goes the Stampede moving forward. They spot out Miracle, and they'll be able to slice him down. That's the Batrider hitting the deck. Seems to be the only casualty here, possibly from Liquid. Oh, might have spoken too soon. Looks like Bulba down in below did not find a safe closet to hide in. They're moving in for the tier three. Look at the Glaives go to work. The Manta's already out. The Disruption Illusions are there. What is the answer by Liquid? It's a song. It's a setup. Here comes Matama Man. Can Liquid do it? Tombstone's going to be committed. Solo Wing on the outside. There's a jump crush, but the BKB comes off, and no one shreds out the Requiem. Liquid in trouble. They lose by control, and Curl's going to be forced to back up in the way, but here comes Furnace Pro, and they could possibly close this one out here, and now already a buyback going to be forced. Coming out from my control, eats the purge, has to hustle back inside the base, but Pasha's on the chase, moves in, gets the stun, gets the dieback. That's the tier three going down, and that's the Rax is exposed, and Virtus Pro can taste grand final action here and now. Solo's the one waiting far and behind. We'll try to keep it up in Skycam. There's going to make the move. There's the solo hit, crush, but they turn around with their own. They get a nice four staff, and they're going to be fine. Song also comes out, but already mind control and Bulba a bit too deep. They will be separated from the pact while that happens. They continue to siege inside the base. Pasha gets the finish and takes out Mind Control. They were still not able to get solo, and Bulba will also lose his own life while the rest of the company have moved on board and cleaned up the rest. It looks like Virtus Pro will be doing it, an upset in its own, as they seem to be eliminating Liquid from the Summit 6 Europe. It looks like it will be an ad finem Virtus Pro Grand Final if things work out as expected here, with Liquid being corralled inside their own fountain. I imagine there's no other result. No one confidently double Requiem with a Death Requiem inside the fountain just to ensure the kill on Matama Man. All right then, this one's over. See you later, Liquid. It is Virtus Pro moving into the grand final to face Adfinem coming up next in a best of five. Wow. It is not a day for Liquid fans at all.